The Israeli military said on Wednesday it destroyed a tunnel network it claimed was used by Hezbollah militants in the area of Mhabeb, a town in southern Lebanon. The troops located and conducted targeted raids on a large network of underground infrastructure and tunnel shafts that included living quarters and armories, and found a large quantity of weaponry, the army said in a statement. Early Wednesday, Israel struck Beirut's southern suburbs for the first time in nearly a week. Late Tuesday, Israeli strikes killed at least 15 people in the southern Lebanese town of Kana, which has long been associated with civilian deaths after Israeli strikes during previous conflicts with Hezbollah. Hezbollah has a strong presence in southern Beirut, known as the Dahia, which is also a residential and commercial area home to large numbers of civilians and people unaffiliated with the militant group. The Israeli military on Wednesday released a video it claimed to show strikes on Hezbollah sites and militants in southern Lebanon. The footage also showed what the army claimed to be a Hezbollah weapons stockpile. The army said in a statement that the forces located two storage facilities in a civilian area containing a large number of weapons including shells, cornet missiles, numerous at, three Sagar missiles, and over 100 mortars. For the past two weeks, Israel was pursuing a ground incursion into Lebanon against the Lebanese militant group of Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah began firing rockets into Israel on October 8 in solidarity with the Palestinian militant group Hamas, following their surprise attack on southern Israel. Almost one year of low-level fighting has turned into all-out war and displaced some 1.2 million people in Lebanon. Columns of smoke were seen rising in the Gaza Strip on Wednesday, as Israeli military tanks patrolled the border area in southern Israel. Israel is still at war in Gaza more than a year after Hamas attack, in which some 1,200 people were killed, mostly civilians, and another 250 were abducted. Around 100 captives are still being held in Gaza, about a third of whom are believed to be dead. Israel has been carrying out a major operation for more than a week in Jabalia, an urban refugee camp in northern Gaza dating back to the 1948 war surrounding Israel's creation. Israeli forces have repeatedly returned to Jabalia and other areas after saying that Hamas militants had regrouped. Hospitals have received around 350 bodies since the offensive there began on OC6, according to Dr. Monir al bursh the Director General of Gaza's Health Ministry. He told the Associated Press that more than half the dead were women and children, and that many bodies remain in the streets and under the rubble, with rescue teams unable to reach them because of Israeli strikes. Entire families have disappeared, he said. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed over 42,000 people, according to the health ministry, which does not say how many were fighters but says more than half were women and children. The offensive has left large areas in ruins and displaced around 90% of Gaza's population of 2.3 million people, forcing hundreds of thousands into crowded tent camps or schools-turned-shelters.